how, how, how much time was spent in front of the mirror working on that, uh, Michael Jackson? See, that's not much time in front of the mirror. I was, you know, I'm a dancer in my day, you know, and so don't let the four kids fool you. You know, I had to, had to lure their mom in somehow, you know what I mean? Did you have to explain what that was to Hainer and Ratliff? They have any idea what yeah, good. That's a really good point. But to their credit, they knew who he was, and so uh, yeah, that's a good. That's a good question. I should have used that one. It's not supposed to look this easy the way you're all moving offensively, especially early in the year. See around the league, scoring's down. Yeah. What do you think? What's going on? You know, I, I I don't have the answers for everything. I don't know why you know scoring is one way or why this or that. All I know is that. Uh, you know, we believe in one another, and we had a really hard off season. We had a really hard training camp. Uh, you could ask anybody in there. It was, it was the workouts, the the practices. It was tough. It was really hard, um, but it led for moments like this. And so, you know, there were probably days where we were pissed at DA or something like that. You know, for man, guys, we're pads again. This, you know, like all football players gripe about. Um, but. I guarantee you now, every single man in that locker room is thankful for those hard days um, for the way that we've started this year. But again, we're thankful for the start, um, get off to a fast start. Um, but as we all know, like <laughs> next week's a whole, whole, different, a whole different test. So. Derek, I said this before, but going against that defense in, in practice every day, how, how helpful is that just to get up to a fast start, knowing that, you know, yeah, on days you struggle, you're struggling against this defense? Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, I think, I mean, y'all y'all saw it best, like the the back and forth during camp, you know, or during OTAs, whatever. And like, wow, that, that's pretty cool. Or hey, man, the defense looks good now. Or, hey, the offense made some play. You know, and you know, usually when it's back and forth like that, especially when it's a good defense, you know, it, it's a good sign for your offense. And you know, for us, it, what a challenge every single day that you wake up. Like you have to set your mind to come compete against them. You know, and at one hundred percent. Um, helped us as a football team, you know, the way that they attack the football, the way that they, you know, make the windows tight. You know, we had some tight window throws today, and I, I just remember, like, just throwing that rep in practice, and I see it in the game today, and it's like, man, th I'm thankful for, you know, Debo and, and Tay and, you know, Marshawn being that close on the coverage. You know, I'm thankful for that because then when we get in the game, we're used to that. And, um, you know, there's so many examples. But, yeah, it, going against our defense all year definitely made us a better football team on offense. Get the impression you've always worked hard in the offseason, but you, you, you talked about your recognition that you wanted to start fast in this offense. Was there anything that you did that, that you would consider different than what you have done in the past? Yeah, uh, I kind of hit on it in camp. Like, you know, before, you know, OTA practice or before training camp practice, uh, me and JT uh, would go out. I, I'd, I'd, I'd just ask him, be like, hey, uh, you know, meet me out there early. And Jordan would come, trailer would come out there and he would go through the whole practice for me because I, I've been through, not being funny, but like I've been through learning offenses a lot, and I'm like, man, how do I start faster this time? You know, how can I be better this time? Um, you know, than, than I've ever been. You know, at, at starting in a new offense, and I was like, I always learn it, I always, you know, know it, but it's the reps. And so we were doing double practices. I would run through the practice, all my reps, and then I'd, you know, we'd take about ten minutes, take a break, and then start the real practice. And so. It was really just getting those extra reps in um, and a lot of extra meetings, a lot of extra time. Uh, I'm sure Clint was really tired of me coming back up there every day, <laughs> you know, but I just, I just, I promised our team and I promised our city I would do anything, everything in my power. And now it's not going to be perfect, but, you know, I, I was going to do everything in my power, exhaust everything that I could even begin to imagine to try and just be better this year. And so far, we've started off good. Derek, yes. Flip side, Dennis Allen thinks one of the things that's helped you is taking some things off your plate. Mm -hmm. And I know you said part of the reason you chose to come here is you want a lot on your plate. Like, yeah. Is that it's did someone have to, hold, to tie you down and force you to do that, or did you see the light in that, or what? Oh yeah, it definitely. I had to bite my tongue a lot, you know, because um, I, I just I'm so used to playing a certain way and. Um, but change isn't always a bad thing, you know. Um, and and again, there, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, there's things that Clint lets me, you know, communicate with him, and you know, there is some say so. It's not like I'm just standing back there with my hands behind my back, you know. Uh, but it is a lot different than what I'm used to. But I'm thankful for it because there's like this happy medium, you know, of of doing what we're doing and uh, doing the things that I want to do and the way that my mind works. Um, 
but also me, you know, taking a step back and saying, okay, what's best for our team and what's best for me? You know, what's best for everybody around me? Yeah, maybe, you know, Derek can do that, but can all uh, the other 10 handle that, 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 and that? You know, it's different for everybody. You know, it's just not just how my brain works, how everybody's brain works. And so there's a lot of things that sometimes you got to take a step back as a leader and say, okay, what's, best, what's the best thing for all of us? And they've done a great job of just letting me be free and just letting me be, uh, you know, me, just be an athlete, go, go play quarterback. And, uh, and so far it's been awesome. It's been a lot of fun. Is there something about this offense that fits what you do well, like that marriage? And can you identify what that is? I mean, certainly the numbers would seem to back that up. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So that's a tough. That's a tough one to answer for yourself. Um, I, I've just, I've been comfortable in every in everything that I've ever done. You know, I, there's some things that you know I prefer to do than others. Um, and in this offense, it's, it allows me to do a lot of the things that I like to do. I'll say it that way. There's a lot of, you know, without getting too into it, I don't want anyone knowing what I like and what I don't like. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of things in this offense that the way Clint does things and the way he sets me up for success, um, puts me in positions for success, um, it, it allows me to, you know, do a lot of things that I enjoy doing as a quarterback. And so, um, you know, today we had a – you know, there was a protection thing. You know, usually, you know, we don't. I was able to do a protection thing, and I was so I'm still able to be myself, but within this system, you know. And so it's been a, it's been a real, really cool marriage of that, you know. And and me and Clint just getting to know each other, you know. That we're only two games in, and so we're still learning each other. There's questions last night. I was like, you want this one on this hash, or what are you thinking? If if you call this, do you want me to? There's still those questions. We're still we're still learning each other and getting better, but he's still putting me and our guys in position to be comfortable and you know. Uh, be successful. Post again to uh, post again to Shahid. No. Uh, was it the same look as last week? Or was it a different look? What did you see? It was, it was cloud to his side, which is insane that he outran that. Um, you know, cloud to his side, quarters on the left, my left, and I, I don't even know. I mean, God blessed him to be able to run really fast, and I just prayed that that ball got there because <laughs> he was fly. I, I I came out of that fake with the coverage, and I was like. I, I, I'm thinking Chris all the way. Like I'm, I'm gonna have to throw this on to Chris unless the corner gets there. I'll check it down. And as soon as I turn around, I saw Sheed already that far down the field. I was like, "Holy crap! He's out running him." <laughs> you know, like the play. I, I, everyone's gonna see it. Wow, what a play! This, that, the the way he ran and the angle he took was so just elite. Like it. Like I just wanted to hug him. You know, afterwards, like thank you so much for seeing that the way that you saw that. Because like, I saw it and I'm like, please. And he he hit it and I was like, oh my gosh, like this guy, he's different. He, he's he's a, he's a game changer for sure. What do you think of his ability yeah, to? Uh, sorry, his ability to track a ball and because those aren't easy to catch. No, you know? no doubt. Especially when that some of those I'm throwing early. I'm throwing them really high too, so it's hard to it's hard to gauge them when they're really high too. Uh, especially with that state, the lights are so bright. You know, for those guys, you know, it's. All that stuff matters, and for him to be able to track them every time and be able to make a play on that football is really impressive. I think a lot of guys can run fast, but a lot of guys can't track the ball, so it's really good catch by you because he's really good at that. That was actually going to be my question, so I'll, I'll shift to a different one. Um, look, the offensive line uh, got a lot of criticism this offseason. A lot of people wondering if they were going to hold up against a very talented defense front. So to see him through two weeks, I think only two sacks for you, five yards off the rushing offense. I mean, what do you think about the those guys yeah, same same thing I've been uh, saying to y'all. I'm just really proud of them, you know, because the no one no one see they see the outcome, but they don't see the work that they put in, you know, and the the cohesiveness that they have, and the bond that they have, and the, the time they're spending together, the unity, um, you know. That I'm just I'm just really proud of them, um, and we just got to keep that same mindset, you know, keep that same mindset, keep the same chips on our shoulder, and uh, just keep going. But I'm really proud of those guys, the way that they're playing. Because what you were talking about with the uh, going out before practice. So how did you kind of arrive at that, that conclusion that that might work? Like, someone could tell, like, give you advice, or how did you kind of reach, like, I should try this? Yeah, I mean, I, I take advice from a lot of people, um, the people that I care about. You know, Drew's one of them. Uh, I talk to him a lot. Peyton's another one. Um, that, and I'm thankful for those guys for giving me hours of their time during the offseason. And one of the things that I would hear while they were saying it is just, it's the reps, you know, those reps, reps, reps. And I was like, well, how does that, okay, that's awesome. How does that translate for me, you know? And it, the reps thing is like I always felt more comfortable towards the middle and end of seasons, and I was like, well, what if I just get more reps beforehand? Like, I don't know. Like, I'm try everything, you know, and and it, and it ended up it ended up helping, and so to where I just feel more comfortable at the beginning of the year starting in a new offense. Um, but definitely credit to those guys, um, you know, asking them questions and then, you know, really not just asking them questions to ask them, but like these are 
Hall of Famers, you know, asking those guys questions, uh, picking their brain. And I'm so, I'm so thankful for their time that they gave me because they, they poured into my life and uh, it's benefited our team, you know, and I appreciate that. You started doing that as early as OTA? I'm sorry? You started doing that with... Uh, yeah, I think I think it was. I can't remember what practice exactly, but I was like, it, it was, it, yeah, 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 yeah. So did that like golf outing with, with Drew kind of lead to that at all since you were spending hours with him and he's kind of known for taking mental reps? Like, was that mm -hmm. someone one of the things you discuss? We were definitely talking about it. I think we were on the phone before that. Um, we, had, we had talked like really, really close to after the season. Um, and then during the golf outing, you know, we were more hanging out, having fun and still talking about things. But um you know, I just I'll forever be grateful for the advice he get. You know, anything you can get from those guys, um, you know, is it's like gold for a quarterback. And so um, they definitely helped me for sure. You scored on your first nine possessions last week. Today you scored touchdowns in your first six, uh -huh. and you ran for 180 yards in both games. I mean, did this feel like a replay of last week? Did that kind of success? Yeah, I felt. Um, you know, we were able to we were able to run the football, and anytime you can run the football and you know win the line of scrimmage, you know everyone every coach is going to talk about it. Every everyone's going to you know preach it till they're blue in the face. But our guys, they've just been executing really well up front. And you know, in football, you go as the trenches go. You know, and our guys have you know bought into the system. Um, we bought into the culture, the coaching, and and you see the work paying off. You see like there's. What our guys have done, what our what our offensive line and our tight ends and our backs, our receivers, what all those guys have done in the first two weeks is really incredible and really selfless. Um, you see Sheed in there throwing his hat in there, getting a block. We'll, we'll all talk about the touchdown. You know, his Madden rating will go up, and I'll go, great, yeah, awesome. But his his willingness to th go throw his hat in there, Chris's willingness to go throw his hat in there on a weak side run and take three guys out last week. Everyone's like, well. Uh, the man made the play of the day, you know, making that block on that run. You know, like this this game is a team game. It's a selfless game. And when you're a team and when you're selfless, these kind of days can happen. And our guys are fully bought into that. And it's for me, it just as one of the leaders of this team, that that makes me so happy to see because um, you never know whose days it's going to be, who's going to have the big day. Um, and to see our guys buy into that the first couple of weeks has been really cool. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot in the system, just the plays, um, the design, uh, things like that. Um, you know, that, again, you talk about a hard worker, that guy's unbelievable, uh, the way he finishes in practice and things like that. But, um, yeah, it's really the design of things. Just, you know, I, I really believe Clint and those guys, you know, do a really good job of just, you know, the playmakers in space, you know, the speed, going this way, going that way, you know, covering the, you know, whole field, sideline to sideline, goal line to goal line. You know, just putting speed everywhere and getting guys in space. And our guys do a really good job of that. What, uh, you guys have converted a handful of third and mediums on, with the run game. Yep. Uh, what's the like, confidence in that, that? I mean, you see a lot of teams pass in those situations. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, you get different looks on third down. And DA has a lot of trust in us to go for it on fourth down. You know, and they. You know, there's times where he's like, hey, we're going to kick the field goal here. And I know that on third down, so I know that based on my decision. And Or I hear, hey, we got four downs. Okay, well, if the run's there, great. You know, like, we can still run the football here. And um, a lot of teams have crazy blitz pressure, you know, pressures. But we got to do a good job of getting on their side of the field or in, or in what we consider our four down territory to be able to run the ball like that and uh, be able to make plays like that. And so when our guys execute them and all that, it helps the offense line. Like I said, it. Being able to do that on third down helps the old line. You know, it helps helps the receivers. It, it, when teams don't know what we're going to do and when we're going to do it, that right there is like balanced football, like situationally, not just play call wise too. Uh, that 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 right there is gold to us. Um, and so, you know, again, it, we've been in a lot of those situations where it's hey, we got four downs here. I'm like, shoot, run it. If we get the look, you know, you get lighter boxes. You get the speed guys coming on the field as the big guys are jogging off. That's a good time to run it. You know and uh, you know, maybe there's a, there's there'll be a time where we don't even run it one time. You know, but you know, it just depends on. Every game's going to be different, but uh, so far, just the way things have played out, we've been able to hit a couple of those. When going back to the level of buying, what does it say about Tyler for making himself available? Yeah, awesome. I hugged him, said I love you, I said thank you for battling through it. You know, especially with the with the way people are wired nowadays. Um, you know, I was taught if it. If it works at all, you'll be out there, you know. And to see that in a young guy is really impressive because you never know. 
you never know. Uh, <laughs> You know, I've seen some crazy things in my 11 years, but you know, when, when, when he stepped out there, I said, you gonna be good? And without a hesitation, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna be good. I'll be there. And he went out and he competed and he played really well. Um, to see that uh, from, a, from a rookie in his second game against a really good defense, against a really good football team, it says a lot about him and our teammates should be really thankful that he's on our football team. Derek, I know you already touched on the touchdown celebration, but how did that come up with your brothers? Like, did they throw ideas at you? No, I, I, I'm a dancer. Uh, like, again, uh, people, people don't know a lot of stuff about me, but, uh, you know, they, they see me like all the time at weddings or, you know, birthdays and music. I, I'm always dancing. And, and so one time I hit the Michael Jackson, they were like, bro, you got to do that when you score one time. So I did it and they made an edit and I posted it. And that's what, <laughs> that's how it went.